So I've now turned it into a 20 meter vertical. Right guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well. So it's actually a nice day today, mild day. Um, so I've come out in the car and I'm gonna do a bit of static mobile. So this pretty cool destination up here, which is near Northfield Airfield. The airfield's sort of somewhere over there in the distance, but basically look at the takeoff, it's, it's pretty cool. So as you can see, I've got my massive antenna. So this is the telescopic antenna. I've done another video about this. Um, it's becoming my setup of choice actually. Um, because it just works so well. Like you obviously, you know, for different bands, you've got to adjust it and change the change the length of it. But you know, it's not much of a ball ache to do. So in the car, I've got the Icon 7100. So this is not a new radio, but it is an amazing radio all the same. Um, this used to be my home base radio, um, but this covers all bands, which is kind of why it's in the car now, because um, it does HF, six meters, four meters. It will do VHF and UHF. And obviously this head unit is completely um, separate to the base unit which is installed in the boot. The speaker on this is, is great as well, nice and loud. So it makes for a really good mobile setup. No, it hasn't got SDR or waterfall or anything like that. Um, that is a bit of a shame. You can add it to this radio with, a, with an extra computer but then that just introduces like loads of extra cables and all that sort of stuff. I'm actually waiting for ICOM to bring out something similar to this with SDR features with a detachable head um, so that you can use it for mobile because realistically putting an ICOM 7300 in a car is, is, is not the most practical thing in the world. And of course with that you're only getting HF, you're not getting all the extra bands on here. Just move the gear stick out of the way. So I'm on 21 megs at the moment, 15 metre band. Um, there was a little bit of activity. I've got my telescopic tunes to this, this band. Um, I did kind of mark the telescopic out with a pen in, in, in another video. Um, I've yet to do the other bands on here, so I have to kind of measure them manually by using that tape measure. There's someone. I think it might be a special event station. CQ, 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 from 5 Bravo 4 VL. This is 5 Bravo 4 Victoria Lima Column. Mike 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha, Static Mobile. The station Mike 6. Yeah, Mike 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha, QSL. Roger, my friend, Mike 6, and Juliet Kilo America. You are coming 5757 QS Baker. My name, Andreas QSL. Yeah, Roger, no problem. You're five and nine over here, five and nine over here, um, location about um, 20 miles north of London. Um, and yeah, we're mobile. And uh, name's Andy, name's Andy Alpha November Delta Yankee. And um, yeah, back to you there, um, Andre from M6 JKA. Okay, my friend, you got Jubilee for your mobile. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of Sunday, 73. Bye bye. Yeah, 73s, Andreas, 73s. And 2RZ, this is So that was Cyprus, pretty cool. Um, I think the reason why this works so well, guys, is the fact that, you know, if you put a telescopic up on a, on a pole, you've got to figure out a grounding system. The car itself is obviously acting as the ground plane here, but I think it's also because the car's coupled to the ground as well. You've obviously got the great ground plane for the antenna, so you don't need a counterpoise or anything like that, but you've also got a really good ground system, and I think that's why kind of static mobile works so well. There's a lot of activity on 20 meters as well today. What's going on? Right, I'm going to try something I haven't done with this yet. I'm going to try using this for four meters because remember I said this radio does four meters. So it's about 101 centimeters I've got to get this telescopic to for to be resonant on uh, four meters. So let's give it a go. Here we go then. So I've taken into consideration obviously uh, the mount. Probably you know it's going to be plus or minus a little bit. So I've, I've just set it to that anyway, and then I can adjust the whip um, based on the SWR. Right, it's all on and secure. Let's tune it to 70. Right, so the calling channel for 4 meters FM is 70.450. Let's just check the SWR quickly. There you go. Basically perfect. On the nail. So first time, it's easy to tune this antenna. I mean, verticals have got such a wide bandwidth. That's the beauty of them, really. CQ4, CQ4, Mike 6, Juliet, Kilo, Alpha. Mike 6, Juliet, Kilo, Alpha. Calling CQ on four and listening. Nothing heard. Something coming into the airfield. 
Well, it was nothing really happening on the four meters. So, so I've now turned it into a 20 meter vertical. Let's get an idea of how long that actually is on the top of that car. So yeah, it's fully extended all bar a bit. So I fully extended the whip and then just went back a little bit because the SWR was, you know, about two. So it's quite easy to set up. You just fully extend it, test the SWR. It'll be different for whatever mount you've got underneath and obviously the car type and the area that you're in. So it just took a little bit of adjustment. Peter lead Zulu 6, Boston, X-ray Victor calling C2 and bye for any call. Mike 6, Juliet Kilo Alpha. M7 JKA 58, my name is Tony. Tony, it's my name, over. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, Andy's my name. Uh, Alpha November Delta Yankee. Um, call sign Mike Six Juliet Kilo Alpha, not not M Seven, uh, but no problem. Uh, you're a plus forty over here. Um, it's about twenty miles north of London. QSL. Thank you. I got right. Mike Six Andy. Thank you. God bless you. Seventy three. Bye bye. Seventy three. Uh, who is uh, the station? That was on about five watts. So some pretty good no-nonsense contacts there. I quite like those quick, short, sharp, brief ones. Just get a signal report and then kind of move on to the next. If you want to try a few different things, it's good to do that. You know, you can have a rag chew if you want with some um, some people, but other people just want to get a quick signal report and just see how the system's working or just fill up their logbook with call signs. So as you can see, a mobile vertical setup works so well. You've got a good ground plane underneath the antenna. You only need a quarter wave. So this is only really practical for like the 20 meter band and upwards, otherwise your vertical is going to be ridiculously tall and you know, no mount on a car is going to hold, hold a vertical like that. You know, you could get like kind of a tire mount, one of those things that you roll the car over and then have a telescopic but what we're interested in doing here is something like, you know, on a lunch break, you just want to pop out in the car and see what contacts you can make. So why does this setup actually work so well when, you know, we put up massive great beams in the gardens, you know, we have dipoles, you've seen my massive dipole that I've put up, you know, on a pole, you know, these are big kind of antennas and they're up very high. So why does a mobile setup work so well? It's because you've basically got a really good earthing system. So, you know, you've got your vertical going up, you've got the ground plane underneath. You don't need to have a counterpoise because your car is acting as, as the ground plane, but you're also coupled to the earth really well. So I think that is the reason why it, it works so well. Um, for HF and, you know, high frequencies, not so much, but for the lower frequencies, it works really, really well. You don't need to be that high. You know, if you've got a good takeoff like I had there, you know, not particularly high ground, but you know, the, the land kind of, terrain kind of falls away. Um, that really helps as well, just helps the signal um, kind of propagate out. But yeah, if you want to do a mobile setup that works, one of those contacts was on 10 watts, the other one was on five, then you can't go wrong with that setup. It will probably work in most situations. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do all the usual stuff. Join our Discord as well. There's a growing community over there, which is all like-minded guys like us and girls. And um, I'll catch you in the next video. There's no other guy